Well, hello and welcome to It's Only Food. We are here at Edgewood Senior Living's Kitchen in Blaine, Minnesota. The leaves are falling, the footballs are flying, and we are making rosemary chicken with barley risotto, a very rustic fall dish. It is fall here in Minnesota, so this is one of the dishes that we like to make. We're gonna look at our ingredients here before we get into the prep work. And of course, we're gonna start out with boneless, skinless chicken breasts, about two cups of cooked pearl barley, eight ounces of your favorite mushrooms, about a half a quart of chicken stock, and of course, herb, rosemary, fresh, and garlic cloves. Now we'll first start our prep work to get this dish going and we get our mushrooms and we're just going to slice these about as thick as you want. It is only food so just cut them any way you want. I prefer a slice. It gives it off abstract compared to the little small barley that we're going to be adding it to. This is barley that's going to be into the risotto. It is not a risotto in the classic sense that it is barley that we're using and not rice. Then we'll take and peel our fresh garlic. And we too will slice this up. I like to get this about sliver thin when we slice it up. And you will see that it is so aromatic and pungent that the camera is actually out of focus because of this garlic's aromatic. We can just slice that as thick and thin as you want and then we can add this. We'll go with the chicken when we brown that off. Yeah, we'll take and season our chicken breasts before we throw them in the pan. You want to make sure that you're seasoning your recipe each step of the way. Just, just a little salt and pepper on each chicken breast. Then we're going to throw it into flour and dredge it. The flour also has salt and pepper in there. And then we'll just have a heated skillet. Throw a little butter in there or oil, whichever you prefer. Just add your chicken breasts into there, or chicken breasts as we call them too. Then we're just going to brown these off before we proceed with the next step. Brown on both sides. The pan is hot and sizzling. Now we're browning it very well now because the pan is hot. Always make sure your pan is hot before you add anything to it when you're doing anything in the skillet too. Then we're gonna throw our garlic in. Along with the fresh rosemary. You just peel these right off the stem, go backwards up the stem and this will come right off. But to make it a wonderful dish, we're going to throw a whole stem in there because you'll see why once we add stock to this and get it to reduce, you can see how all these flavors will meld together and marry to make a very, very flavorful profile for this chicken breast dish. The color even changes in that stock. So after, of course, you have reduced this, you can just let it simmer off to the side as we begin the next process. Add a little more salt and pepper in there. I don't have to tell you, this smells fantastic. And now we will set this chicken off to the side to simmer while we make our next dish, the barley risotto. You want to brown this risotto, I'm sorry, brown this barley and mushrooms off in a hot pan just to toast it and brown it a little bit. This will give it a toothiness with the mushrooms. Add your chicken stock after you've gotten it to the point where you wanted it brown and, and toasted. And this will add flavor, bring all the flavors together. Let this simmer. I'm adding peas to this just for some color. Classical risotto has onions in it. You will see that we do not have onions in this. And then you add your cream. That's about a cup of cream. Let this just sit on the heat. 
and you will see it thicken as it gets going along with the heat the bubbles will react and it will reduce here we go just stir this up a little bit add a little more salt and pepper in there and then there we go you can see how it's reducing now the air bubbles are letting go of the oxygen the dish is thickening we can just take the heat off this get it into focus hey there we go and add a little bit of parmesan cheese in there it's always getting creamy you can see yeah that's just about right we're going to turn the heat down on this and plate it up now this is a dish that i'm making for two we have two chicken breasts so i'm going to add a little bit of risotto more than i would normally eat or you would eat but i do it is five o'clock in the morning here as i do this so i've got the overnight staff across the hall from the kitchen the two certified nursing aides that have been working all night are going to get a very big surprise this won't be breakfast for them it will be dinner but i always try to feed the staff when i come into the kitchen and make this because it's about the only time i can actually you know have the kitchen where we're not busy so this will go to those two ladies across the hall and probably be a big surprise because they're new and they've never had this experience before <laughs> So here we go with the rosemary on there for a little bit of a garnish. Add a little more cheese for some more nuttiness in the risotto. Then I'm just taking a balsamic vinegar that I have reduced down and we're popping that on there for a little bit of color too. There it is. All right, well, thanks again for joining us today on It's Only Food. Today we made rosemary chicken and barley risotto, very earthy, very autumn meal that we prepared. Hope you enjoy it, and thank you for joining us on the show. Uh, don't forget to join us this week in October. We're going to have toast tutorials all week. We're gonna learn how to make toast, so we'll have Toasty the Clown here for that too, and he'll share in his delight of making toast as well. So don't forget to join us on that. Also join us on facebook.com slash chefpolite. That's our social media site on Facebook. From there you will find links to our YouTube channel and our Twitter account and also our blog. We uh, have a website on there too where you can find out more about It's Only Food and what we do. So please go to that and follow all the links. Share them with your friends. Facebook.com slash Chef Have a great day. Thanks for joining us again. I got to get back to work. Have fun. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.